Hey folks, Vincent here from the creativenetjo.net. Today in this quick video, it's gonna be one of those quick tip videos I'm gonna make whenever I have time or whenever I learn something really new but short and simple. And anyways, you know, after all my years of using After Effects, I am kind of embarrassed to not know what I'm about to tell you here. And you know, maybe after this video tutorial, maybe if you guys didn't know it too, then maybe you can join me in my embarrassment. But anyways, what I was doing in After Effects was I was making this light leaks footage pack I'm going to be giving out for free to some of you guys. And basically what I was doing was I was adding multiple items into the render queue. And usually you know whenever I work I usually just render maybe one, two or three compositions and add it to the render queue and then I would just mainly change the output modules. But here in my scenario I had tons and tons of items in the render queue and I wanted to change all of the output modules. And basically they're under the lossless right now and they're under the MOV QuickTime animation compression. So pretty much I wanted to change all of the output modules to something else like Feather JPEG for an example. So the first thing I did naturally was to select the first item, scroll down, hold down shift, select all of the render queue items, and then I would go into the output module and then you know change the format to QuickTime, change it from animation to Feather JPEG here. And then hit OK, hit OK. And I thought that would change the output modules for all of the render queue items. But as you can see, it did not. It only changed the output module for the first render queue item that I selected. So, you know, at first I started to do it all manually. I went into the second composition, changed the output module, went to the third, and changed the output module until I got fed up with it. And then I decided to search it up on the Creative Cal. And apparently, you can actually select the output module by itself. And then you know select all of the output modules by holding down shift selecting the output module here and that way you're actually just selecting the output module so i thought okay now that i have that selected we can go into the output module again and then change the format to photo jpeg once again and then hit okay hit okay and still even with the output module selected you know you can't change the output module all at once even with the output module selected but then I figured out, well, you actually can if you make a custom template right here. And I don't know if this is different in CSX or something like that, but I'm using CS5 right now and you cannot change the output module like this. But you can change it with a template. So I'm going to click away here. I'm going to create a new template here so we can hit make template. And then we can call this, you know, custom template. We can change all of our settings here. And then you can go into edit, you can change the format to QuickTime, change the you know photo video codec to photo JPEG, set the quality down to maybe like 92 or so. Hit OK. And then once you have your custom template done, you can hit OK. And then once again, we can select all the output modules once again. And then you can change the output module by clicking on this drop down arrow and selecting our custom template up here. And when you do that, it's going to change all of the output modules from lossless to your custom template that you just made. And of course, my custom template is Photo JPEG at 92 quality. So that's pretty much how you change all the output modules or multiple output modules at once in the render queue. You know, I don't know why they can't just make it a little bit more obvious where we can just select all of the render queue items and then go into the output module, so on and so forth. But that's pretty much how you change the output module multiple times for different or multiple render queue items. So just a really quick, quick tip. If you didn't know this, you know, let me know in the comments down below because I didn't know it until now. It's pretty embarrassing, but pretty useful tip if you have a lot of items in the render queue and you want to change all the output modules at once. So once again, a really quick tip. My name is Vincent Nguyen. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye guys.